All right, Sarah. Here's the first one on our right, first swing you made tonight. And again, I wanted you to see how good it was. And what's great about this is the length of the swing is great. And like I've mentioned to you, that's about where you've been for about 60% of your swings the last few weeks. I would say is right about there. And then about 20% of them have been about there, I'd say, or 30%. And then about 5 or 10% have been longer than that, and 5 or 10% have been like shorter than that. But 60% of them have been right about there. So it's been great. This first one was just a little longer, so nothing terrible. And then you're close to that plane line, but you are more above it than you've been the last couple of weeks, I would say, in my observations through all the range office hours. And through here, that didn't look too good. And so just 10 minutes, 15 minutes of the small, very small swings, feeling the club head start to the left, and then holding your finish with a triangle, and then a little longer swing, and then a few full swings. And notice on the short swings, it's okay if they stay to the left. I didn't mind that. But when you get longer, then you can go ahead and turn those hands over earlier, and the thing is this nice, elegant little draw out there. Very strong. And that's part of what's, I think, helping you feel more comfortable with a shorter swing is when you have that shorter swing and you're on plane, man, it feels so strong. You're like, okay, yeah, now I don't need to take it back farther. And you felt when you do take it back farther, it gets more out of control and you scruff it off. You see what I mean, Phil? So that's part of the reason I think she's starting to get more amenable to the smaller swing. Is she's starting to see that, yeah, when I'm on plane, the ball's in the right spot in my stance, and I'm on plane, I can make a shorter swing, man. It feels really strong and really goes great and really goes far. So that's the beautiful stuff right there. And again, this was good. This is just more like it's even better, and this is what it's looked like the last 10 days, two weeks, since you got back from Terra Terra Haute, yeah. Yep, and then let me see if I can find a little thing about that. I think I might have a little something I can show you about the putt. Might be able to find it. Ooh. Nah. It's not there. I might still be able to find it. Oh, yep, there it is. That makes sense, right? Did that look? That was pretty solid there, right? Right in the sweet spot. And you see how smoothly it rolled. Let's see if I can find another one there. Oh yeah. You see what I mean? Uh huh. That's not good for her. No. I, I've never told anybody to do that. I don't, I don't think it's good for very many people. I, yeah, I don't think it's very good for very many people. So, yes, yeah, so I just wanted you to see that little putt thing there. I'm glad I could find it. Yeah. So does that make sense? Where you can really see that putter hitting the sweet spot. This has to do more with direction, you know, this aspect of it. But you see it's going to roll pretty true when you hit the sweet spot. That has to do one more with direction, but I mainly want you to appreciate the distance and use those sweet spot tape things to just get a better and better feel for that. That's why I asked you the first thing when you, did you know why that was short? And you said, no, no, and you hit it way off the sweet spot. So why don't you be 
more aware of that. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around Meadowlink. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's a down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have a face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment. And we can get your swing from down to the 1 20th of a, 1 120th of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, we, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from PutterZ.com. So when you hit your full shot, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn the certain fields in the golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. And then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and hit time, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or if we get pretty satisfied and things are looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is for the front, back, and middle of each green. And again, the covered area here is heated. So we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said. It enables us to see some ball flight. And then we get satisfied that things are looking the way we want. And we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking, to make sure that you understand it. And then notice, too, my exercise ball up top here. And then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter, and then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years, too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks, or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsuds.com. Take care.